this is the station that we're at today for our journey, um, Gangbyeon, and it's next to the Dongseul Terminal. So we're taking that um, bus terminal because we have to leave Seoul actually. <laughs> Um, so we can get somewhere to do something adventurous today. But this is actually pretty cool because like this is like one of the only parts I feel like where you actually go above ground from out of the subway. Like you pass over water and so forth and then that's where we are right now. So yeah, we're about to get on the bus and then get going. Some of the prices for like the buses. Today we are going paragliding. Um, it's gonna be my first time ever doing that. Kind of scared that Emil talked me into doing this. Yes, you. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> a little bit excited because I've always wanted to do some like more adventurous things. Um, so I'm glad he asked me to come out and do it. <laughs> Even though, like, I feel like this would be a step towards skydiving, kind of, sort of. So if I can kind of handle this, <laughs> kind of handle this, then maybe I could do skydiving, we'll see. But uh, we're at the bus terminal and we were on time, but I guess you could have ordered tickets and we did not order tickets, so we missed our bus. Kind of, sort of, we did. So, <laughs> so we have to get on the next bus. The guy said it's okay. I guess I don't really know how it really works. I'm guessing they just drive us out and then you just get, they just, you paraglide and then you're finished. I'm guessing is that it just it that that's it so uh, maybe they have waves of people that come anyway no so we're just late so we're just late <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that I don't know I don't know he said okay but um, it's not our fault technically if he wanted uh, um, to like let us know that we have to like get our tickets in advance he could have said go to like busnada.com because that's what I saw but he did not so we didn't even know so yeah, but that should be kind of interesting. Um, I hope you like the show that you'll see because I'm gonna try to um, get as much as I can in the air as long as I don't pass out and like break my camera or something. We should be good. <laughs> but <laughs> if you don't see this footage, then that means that it didn't come out, which means that this broke, which means that you wouldn't even know that this video took place. So um, yeah, that's a lot to go on, huh? But anyway, yeah, that's it. But pretty crazy. Um, we're at the bus station and I just realized because I've seen so many people in like army suits that everybody probably takes a bus out from here to go to different places um, for their camps. Um, as you can see from like all the people that's like passing me and stuff, there's like a lot of different army dudes coming. So they're probably all going back to the training camp and so forth. And then there's just other people that's just boarding, probably going somewhere outside of Seoul, just like we're going right now. So yeah. Look forward to some excitement. See you guys soon. So we thought we would like check out the bowling center since we're like an hour early. And this is a pretty cool setup. So since um, I don't know what time we're gonna be done, I thought I would stop and get something to eat first. So we're eating Subway today. This is actually my first time eating Subway in Asia in general because I never ate it in Japan. Uh, I got tired of it because my friend would always take us to Subway when I was in America, so uh, college life. We're, <laughs> we're headed to platform nine and three quarters, as the bill said, but this is like the bus terminal. We are 2021, I think. So yeah, um, we are about to take off soon. So this looks like it's our bus and we're heading to Danyang. Time to head on in. <laughs> Supposedly it's supposed to take us two hours to get there, but I don't think so. I think it's gonna take us a lot longer than two hours to get there. Uh, hopefully everything is still okay by the time we arrive. We 
We finally made it to our station. The guy told us it would take two hours and it literally probably took like three. But if you can see that, they're, you can see that they're already paragliding. Like, I guess you stay in the air for some time. Look at that. Oh, I guess this is it. Ah, that's, oh, there's the big fish that they said. Oh, nice to meet you. And this is the name of the shop that we're getting it done by. Just in case anybody wants to come out and do paragliding in Korea. Take off. Take off. Mm. In the beginning, just do work, work. Mm. Get off steps. Mm, okay. And the pilot say, well, you have to run all the way. Oh, run all until we in the air. To stop, to stop, don't hesitate. Okay. okay. And don't run so fast. Don't run too fast. <laughs> This is how it looks from the top. Everybody's getting ready to go. Oh, we have to get ready. Oh. Oh, and then it looks like an like, observatory or something. Huh. Oh, some gear. Oh. And this is my suit for the day. It's time to take off. Oh. I have to tell you about the ride up here <laughs> as soon as I get to the bottom, but oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I've always wanted to do something adventurous, but <laughs> I guess I never thought I would actually do it. Oh. And then this guy, he is so happy. I can't. Why is he so happy? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna get ready. Hey, what's your name? Greg. Hey, you know, I'll take
So it, um, the trip, the trip going up, was pretty aggressive. Like I felt like that was like the worst part about it was going up. They was hitting them corners hard, and uh, like literally, like if you fell off the mountain, you'd be done for it because that mountain was steep. So I was gonna film it, but then I thought like nah, cause then I felt like everybody might get kind of queasy cause I was, my head kind of hurts after that. And then I felt like we got right up there and then we were jumping off. Um, so yeah, you got that video. But um, besides that, it was pretty cool. It wasn't scary. Um, I think the initial walking off the mountain sucked. That part was kind of scary. But besides that, it was actually pretty fun. Um, and I only did it because Emil wanted me to do it. If not, I probably wouldn't have to come out and did it. Whoa, no, okay. Uh, let's go that way. Because we gotta check the, oh, unless you want 7-Eleven because you said you want to try to get you something, right? <laughs> but like, yeah, so. No, well, no, I've always wanted to try to do things, but like, I don't know. It's saying like you want to do something and then actually doing it. You just don't know how it's going to be. And like, I guess as we put on the suit, my heart was starting to race harder. I was like, oh shit, I'm about, to, about, to, about to walk off about it. And I was like, I hope he's not gonna try to kill me, man. <laughs> but um, in the end, like as soon as we got in the air, then it was okay. Like I didn't, I didn't feel anything. It was cool. Hmm. So yeah, we're just gonna head home now. Um, if there's anything that I didn't mention that you want to know about this trip, um, you know, paragliding is the first time I've ever done it, so maybe you guys haven't done it before either and you want to know some details on it, I can at least tell you how quickly it ended. Literally, he said it was going to be like an hour and it took, I felt like eight minutes. And for me, it was easy. The only thing that was hard was just getting into the air. But yeah, anything else you want to know, just leave it in the comments below and then I'll answer it. See you guys next time. Bye. You still here? Thanks for watching the video until the end. Please don't forget to check out the description box below for info on my friends that were in the video. Hi! <laughs> product links, my other social media platforms, and my new product designer. If you guys love the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment because I really love reading and writing back to comments that fans leave. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.